Hey everybody, welcome back to another Maxpedition review. As a lot of you guys know, I'm working out in North Dakota in the oil fields. Been doing a lot of traveling back home to Washington. And I've also traveled a couple times over to West Virginia to visit my kids. And I thought that Maxpedition's tactical rolling carry-on luggage would be the perfect addition to my collection for all the traveling that I'm doing. So I thought today I'd go over a little bit and show you guys some of the features of it. First thing I want to go over with you guys is your different carry options of the carry-on luggage. You can see on top here you have a double strap carry handle held together by this Velcro piece. You just undo that to get your pockets. But once you Velcro it shut, it kind of acts as a padding so when you're carrying it. Over on the side, you have a single strap carry handle. Okay, if you want to carry it more like a conventional suitcase, you've got that option there. You've also got a two inch padded shoulder strap. Okay, obviously for carrying over your shoulder. On the top, you have another single strap carry handle. Okay, you can just carry it like that. Maybe you're a little bit taller, you have the option to carry it that way. Now for those longer, heavier hauls, you have two injection molded inline skate wheels on the bottom. And you would pull it just using this telescopic expandable trolley handle. Okay, and you just open and close it using a small recess button on top of the handle. Next I want to go over the dimensions in some of the pockets and compartments of the carry-on luggage. The luggage itself is 22 inches by 9 inches by 14 inches. So that meets all FFA carry-on luggage requirements. Okay, the main compartment uses double YKK zippers. Opens up all the way and on the inside we do have one zipper compartment. Okay, keep some of your smaller items in there. This other zipper will give you access to your interior pocket, okay, in case whatever you're carrying in there, you want to get to it while you have this thing open. Now the main compartment, you can use it as a whole in its entirety, or using this hook loop, you can move this device wherever you want to separate your luggage. And the whole interior is lined using a 420 denier nylon. Okay, on the top here, once you get these double strap carry handles out of the way, you do have a larger pocket here with a hook loop panel. As you see, I've got some of my patches on there. But you just open it up, again using the double YKK zippers. And once you open that, you'll see that there's two straps in here using Fastex buckles. And this pocket is actually large enough to fit a full-size laptop. And you can just secure your laptop in there using the Fastex buckle, cinch it down. There's also a hook loop strap. Okay, maybe you want to keep your power cords or something else just tied down. Right here, you'll also see that there's a flat panel mesh pocket. You just open that up. You can put whatever small items inside of there that you might need. Over on the side here, you have a smaller pocket that has Powell's webbing. Okay, maybe you want to add a couple additional pouches to your carry-on luggage. But again, you just have double zipper. You can open that up. Again, it's lined with the 420 denier nylon. 
and I usually just keep whatever smaller items inside here that I want to get to easily while I'm traveling. Last thing I want to show you guys on the carry-on luggage is the back side. If you'll notice this black area, that is a rubberized material. And there are some points of contact. That way if you lay it down on the ground, this material will help keep everything from getting wet or muddy. And also on this corner, there's some reinforced rubber here because that's a high wear and tear area, especially as you're going up and down stairs or just traveling around. So they did add this piece down here to help keep you a little more protected. To help give you guys an idea of how much this will actually hold when you're packing, I've got two t-shirts here and two pairs of pants. So as you can see, it's not going to carry a lot, but this is just a carry-on luggage. Okay, maybe you're traveling for one or two days, or you just plan on doing a lot of laundry. As you see here with the two shirts, still have a little bit more room for some undergarments, some socks, maybe even a hoodie. You could add in maybe a little bit more in this top pocket. But not a whole lot of room if you plan on traveling for an extended stay. Maxpedition has plenty of other options for that. But just for a good carry-on luggage, check this guy out. It's really good just for a couple days stay. Well folks, that's Maxpedition's Tactical Rolling Carry-On Luggage. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. And again, make sure you check out Maxpedition's website. You can see all the different colors, different options that they have for the luggage. Until next time, go out and live.